Scratch is a visual programming language, developed by the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. The traditional programming languages, have you write text-based instructions for the computer to carry out, in much the same way, as you might write a recipe, for baking a cake. Scratch as you build your program step by step using blocks. Pre-written chunks of code, hidden behind color-coded jigsaw pieces. It is an easily understandable first language, for button coders. But don't be fooled by its friendly appearance. It's a powerful and, fully functional programmable environment, for creating everything from simple games, and animations through complex interactive robotics projects. The latest version of Scratch is, Scratch 3, and for the offline editor, it's Scratch 3.4. In this tutorial, I will be explaining about the Scratch 2 interface. Go to the link. Download offline editor for your OS. Go to the downloads and run. Now you are ready to explore with Scratch. If you could see the Scratch window, we have the stage area, sprite, stage controls, sprites list, blocks palette, blocks, and scripts area. Like actors in a play, your sprites move around the stage under the control of your program. A sprite is an object or the character you control. Using stage controls, you can add backgrounds, and even your own pictures to it. All the sprites you have created, or loaded into Scratch will appear here. All the blocks available for your program appear in the Blocks palette. Blocks are pre-written chunks of program code, which allows you to build your program step by step. The Scripts area is, where your program is built. In Blocks palette, we have scripts, costumes, and sounds. Inside Scripts, we have, motion, events, looks, control, sound, etc. In this session, I will be focusing on, how to import sprites, and audio files into your program, so that you can create, amazing programs other than, default ones. Let's find some Jack Sparrow stickers, and a pirate ship on Google. I have already downloaded a few, and we will use Jack Sparrow as our sprite, and pirate ship for the background. When you open Scratch, we have Sprite 1, which is a cat by default. Right-click and delete it. Click on, Upload Sprite from File. Select one sprite. Now select Costumes from Blocks Palette and, click on Upload Costume from File. Select all the images, one by one. Similarly, select Sounds. Upload sounds from file. At the bottom left of the screen, you can see, the stage backdrop. Select Upload Backdrop from file. Now move on to Scripts. From Events category, drag and drop the hat block, onto the Scripts area. We are going to start a loop now. Forever Loop. Why Forever Loop? If you want to repeat the process, again and again. Then select Forever Block, from Control. Select Switch Backdrop to, from Looks. It's for changing the backdrop. Now drag and fix, switch costume 2, for selecting the first costume. Next add, say hello for 2 seconds. Now select, switch backdrop 2, and switch costume 2. Leave the sprite 2. Think for 2 seconds. 
Now the program is finished. Let's run and see the result. Click onto the green flag, on top of the stage, to run the program. To stop, it's the red one. Before running, please don't forget, to save your file. Run the program. The sprite says, hello for two seconds, and after switching the costume, the sprite thinks for another two seconds. You can change the dialogue and time, if needed. Simultaneously, backdrop also, changes. Let's upload, the audio files also. Already I have created, two files for this. I will show you now, where to add these. Click on to sound from script. Drag and insert play sound, just below, the first switch costume block. Similarly, insert the second file too. Now run. Hello. Hmm. Hello. Hmm. This will be more interesting, if you could add more sprites on this program. 